Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 6 and we are looking at the sample questions of this chapter. The very first question here in this particular chapter is uh, related to the test tools and the roles and responsibility of the test analyst here. So a business application is in the maintenance phase and several changes to the business logic have either already been implemented or are expected to be implemented in the next release. The test automation is used to ensure that business cases are regression tested whenever a change is made. A keyword driven approach is used for the test automation. Since the last release, some emergency fixes were necessary and the test automation reports are now highlighting the anomalies. Which of the following steps should now be conducted by the test analyst? So team, first of all, you need to understand the project is in maintenance phase. That means there are certain upgradation going on. And of course, keyword driven is one of the key element to run the regression suite. And of course, the regression suite will find out certain areas where the side effects have taken place. So if you look at this here, and we have got a few options like update the keywords and the data to reflect the change made. Of course, uh, the changes are involved and we have got certain anomalies. So the test analyst will be responsible for updating the keywords. As we know from the tutorial earlier, the test analyst is the one who identifies the keywords required to be mentioned. B, modularize the automation script. No, that's not a responsibility of the test analyst. So B can be ruled out. C, analyze the anomalies to determine if the problem is with the keywords or the input data, automation script itself, or application being tested. I, I think we remember this particular statement being spoken in the tutorial related to keyword driven testing. So C is also one of the option, uh, but let's look at the other one. D, ask the developer to manually step through the failed uh, automated test with the same data to see if the failures is in the application itself. Now, if you remember, uh, a developer does not have a responsibility to manually go through the executed test or the failed tests. It is responsibility of the test analyst who cross checks after a tester has executed that. E, if the cause of the anomaly cannot be found, remove the test from the automated regression testing pack. Of course, that could not be your best option at this point of time that you don't find the reason behind the anomaly. You just remove the test. No, that's not a good principle or practice when it comes to testing. So we are here to select two options uh, from the given scenario. And uh, based on our understanding, the right option is A and C. So the right answer for this particular question is A and C, update the keywords, analyze the anomalies to determine where the problem exists. Similarly, the next question is about uh, which of the following statements does not describe a benefit from the tools used by a test analyst. Now remember team, the word not plays a very vital role. If in case you miss that word while reading the question carefully, then your answer will be a different way. So please be careful, read each and every word of the question before you even look at the options. That's the best recommendation I can give it to you. So the options are A, test data preparation tools can anonymize uh, data while still maintaining the inter internal integrity of the test data. Of course, that's one of the point which we discussed in just the previous tutorial. B, test execution tools enable fewer tests to be run which reduces cost and the efficiency of regression test. Uh, to a certain extent, when you say test execution tools enable fewer tests to be run, that is in case of manual. Manual, we try to reduce the number of test cases because it takes a lot of time and we cannot repeat it, we cannot run it often. But when it comes to using a tool support for execution of test, even when you talk about automation, we talk about repeatability, we talk about running it quite often. So I think we have got our option, but we will be just making sure ourselves with looking at all other options before we finally pick up the right one. C, test design tools can help the test analyst to choose the types of tests that are needed to obtain a targeted level of test coverage. Of course, the test design tool is having this benefit as a part of it to determine what coverage can be targeted with help of those design tools because the design tools will be creating the test cases as a part of it. D, the test execution tools enable the same test to be repeated in many environment. Of course, that's one of the property of an execution tool that you write it once for all and you can repeat it how many times ever you want. So at this point of time, the right answer we have is B, the test execution tools enable fewer tests to be run, 
but the second part is absolutely fine but the first part is wrong so you need to be such critical and careful with looking at the options before you choose your right answer okay so B is the right answer here and we have only two questions from this particular chapter and that's all from this particular series as well team hope you enjoyed the series and definitely understood the concepts of test analyst I wish you a very good luck for the examination should you have any query feel free to comment below i'll be there to address you till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding team i'll be back with another tutorial series soon there is a poll going on let the poll get uh, a closure to a good figure and i'll be getting back to you with a new tutorial series thanks for watching the video team and happy learning